Uh, so I'm gonna drive this thing and I am terrified because I know how to drive stick but I don't know how to drive a jeepney. Ugh. What does this mean? Right. You know how you just look at the dashboard and you just know where everything is and how it all should feel? I can't even watch the windows. Get a few of the brakes first. Okay, okay. You know how like here you have your driving test where you have those fake cutout people? Perfect. Look at those real people on the street. Okay. Okay, it's still hard. And it's still tough. Let's go outside. Yeah. Let's pick up some passengers and make some money. No 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 no. Why not? <laughs> oh man, just just forgetting that you have to pump the brakes is always terrifying. GP drivers out there traveling the entire day, just getting people, ferrying people back and forth. If you think it's tough on the commuters, this is pretty tough on the drivers. Arneta Cobao Station, watching over a protest of GP drivers and GP organizations trying to fight against the government's attempt to phase out the GP. So, ano po yung pinaprotesta niyo po ngayon? Ang prinunulista namin ngayon ay dahil sa pagpipis out ng sasakyan. Kasi iba yung ibibigay sa amin eh. Ibang klaseng jeep eh. Tapos masyadong mahal din po ba? Oo, oh, hindi namin kaya. Hindi po tayo titigil hanggat hindi napapahinto itong pakana ng gobyerno na jeepney modernization o jeepney phase out. Sino ba nang papayag? na yung ating mga kabuhayan ay maapektuhan at yung ating pinakamamahal na jeepney ay ikikilo na lamang at UUPN para ibenta bilang junk. Di ba isang kalukuhan nito? Basura! Jeepney face out! Jeepney face out! Ibasura! Ibasura! So, how did the jeepney come to be? Right after World War II, U.S. forces uh, left their equipment, and one of them is the the Willys jeep. In the early days, the metropolis was really devastated by the war. So, one way to rebuild it, we have to mobilize people and materials. So, the Filipinos put everything into use, like the abandoned trucks, equipment, and especially the wheelies. It's a compact vehicle, definitely, but it can carry a lot of load and it's multi-purpose. And that's where the love affair started. My dad told me they used old Studebaker fenders and parts from 1940s and fit this automobile. The personal touch of the Filipino, do you feel like it is very much shown by the designs of the Jeep? Yeah, everything. It shows their personality. Jeepneys are like uh, family members, so they have to put everything there. If they dress good, the jeepneys must look good too. Para sa akin, importante talaga yung kultura ng jeepney. Dahil yun ang pinaka-ano ng Pilipinas eh. Jeepney. Simbolo po talaga ang jeep ng Pilipinas? Oo, oh, ganun. Masasabi niyo po ba na makikilala niyo po yung jeepney driver sa jeepney pa lang po nila? Oo, oh, yun ang pinakapalatandaan, yung design. Ano po yung mga design po na pinapagawa usually ng mga customers niyo po? Kadalasan mga, ano eh, mga santo, mga ganun karamihan yan. 
Yan ang kano nila para, para iwas disgrasya daw gano. Gano yung ano nila. Pinaka paborito kong, kong, kong gawin yung mga ano, yung mga oh, mga halimaw, halimaw na ka-design. Kumbaga ano eh, kumbaga maangas tingnan. Kumbaga bara kong bara ko tingnan yung jeep. Yeah, parang nakakatakot yun, no? ang ganda nun, di ba? Mga ganun ano nun. Ano po masasabi niyo po sa mga customers niyo po na pupunta dito, dumadahil dito para magpapintura po sa inyo po? Ano rin, dahil, uh, dahil sa kanila, nagkaroon ako ng hanap buhay, nabubuhay ko yung pamilya ko. We're in the GP Terminal in Shaw Boulevard. We're in the middle of a few jeepneys and we're just trying to figure out how and why they're so important to the Filipino culture and the Filipino infrastructure. Uh, okay lang po makausapin po namin kayo tungkol sa design ng jeepney niya po. Kasi kayo naman po yung pumili po, po nito, no? So, look at the grills on this one. Check it out. It's crazy. Ba't niyo po pinili itong design? Ang kasi nung dumating ako doon sa paggawa, nakita ko may ganyang design. Tuno po gian po kayo kaagad uh -oh. na ang oh, ganda nito. Kaya sabi ko, kung anong design nito, ganyan din yung paggawa ko. Pag ganun po ba pag nasisiya ko sino yung popoan sa event? Yung may ari na. Yung ari na. Yung karamihan ng rider marunong gumawa. Yung mga karamihan naman ang nasira ng jeep. At saka building. So, sa tingin niyo po, sangayon po ba kayo sa pagbabago na pagkatapos ng 15 years tanggal na po? Hindi ako sangayon doon. Kasi unang-una, hindi naman operator lang ang hihiling na huwag tanggalin ng jeep eh. Pati mga commuters. Sa tingin mo, importante yung mga pagbabago na gusto mo ipatuwa, ipagawa ng gobyerno? Kumbaga, kung itong sakaling ang mga sasakyan na to is aalis ni nila nang wala agad kapalit <clears throat> may hirapan yung mga commuters yung jeepney po kasi dito sa Pilipinas is pinaka importante yung sasakyan na meron tayo kumbaga lahat sila lahat actually lahat sumasakay Could you tell us about the importance of updating the jeepney to standards of a modern era? 39% of uh, the riding public would take the jeepney. Ever since 1950s, the design of the jeepney has remained the same. It is the only denomination that has the entry and exit on the road. Secondly, the contribution to the pollution is so much. So we're not only thinking of the jeep, but for the safety, convenience of the riding public, for the environment, so we have, so we can be compliant to our Clean Air Act. This is for the future generation, and uh, we now have around 16 prototypes of PUJs that have passed the Philippine national standards. Maximum of 30 with standing and seating passengers. Automated collection fare system, Wi-Fi, dash cam, CCTV. How do you feel about the resistance you're facing from the rest of the country regarding the changes you want to implement? All the major transport leaders of PUJ, I can proudly say this and claim this, they are for modernization. So like, this is the first time I've been to a factory of such an iconic like company. Could you take me to the prototype? Oh yes, of course. Okay. As you can see, this looks very different from the standard yeah. Jeep. So it could also be that it's not really meant to replace, but also to add. To the, so we can retain the standard jeeps with, imp, with improvements and then add this on top of that. First thing you may notice is the door. It's, yeah, it's so much wider. Yeah, it's, and it's a standard, you know. Oh, and it's an door. actual door. Yeah. Please. Oh, hey, it's elevated here in the back. That's actually pretty comfy. And you know, since it's a prototype, we've, uh, you know, there's some things that you can improve still. So for sure, I can drive this through a flood and it'll be fine. Yeah. And do you think the paint jobs will get crazier? Because since this is a lot more flat space, yeah. a lot more even ground. Then maybe, I mean, maybe like a big Mona Lisa here or something. If 
magdala po sila ng jeep na ganun dito po. Pipinturahan niyo po ba? Oo. Oh. At marami magkakaroon ng trabaho. Lahat ng mga artist magkakaroon ng Hindi lang sa akin. So, how do you feel about the idea that one day the jeepney might just not be here anymore? Something so iconic to our culture. There's one jeepney design. It has all the works of the modernized jeepney, but still looking like the iconic jeepney. So all physical changes that's going to happen to the jeepney will primarily be internal. Safety is our priority. Do you feel like the jeepney is always just going to be such a pivotal item in our culture? Yeah. Well, it describes everything about Filipinos. It's resiliency, multipurpose, and probably multicultural. The love affair with the jeepney is endless. Coconuts TV on iFlix.